when things don't go the way you planned it. What do you do? Because when things don't go the way you planned it, it's so funny that no one really teaches anything about when things don't go the way you planned it. You just get people saying, well, yeah, you gotta get strong. You gotta, you, you gotta be strong. You'll get through it. La la la. And I'm like, okay, but let's, let's acknowledge this. There will be times in your life. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea. So in today's video, we are going to be doing like a mixture of, of talking points, but it all narrows down to this one thing. And this one thing is letting go what is not meant for you. You decided at one point in time that your life was gonna go like this and like this and like this and apparently it's not going how you want it to go right now. Or you met a nice guy or you met a nice girl and you thought he was the one and you thought she was the one and mostly mainly for my girlies, you think he's the one and because you had now make the decision, you have now made the decision that he is the one, you go and you chase him and that's another video that we talked about. But my point being, when things don't go the way you planned it, what do you do? Because when things don't go the way you planned it, it's so funny that no one really teaches anything about when things don't go the way you planned it. You just get people saying, well, yeah, you gotta get strong. You gotta, you, you gotta be strong, you'll get through it, la la la. And I'm like, okay, but let's, let's acknowledge this. There will be times in your life where things are not gonna go the way you planned. There will be times in your life where you probably wanted that to be your person, but they turned out that's not your person because at the end of the day, we can see to a certain extent that some of us cannot control all aspects of our life. And that is not of a surprise because for one, no one, you could not even control the moment in time when you were born, much less all the aspects of who's gonna come into your life, of what career you're gonna go, uh, who's your, who are you gonna marry? Whatever it is, you don't have the full control when things are just not the way you want them to go. We can look at this example, especially for all oh my girlies, like when you think he's the one and you wanted him to be the one and I think so deep down you f you fell in love with him and this can apply not only just to my girlies like if you're a guy watching this this can only apply like when you set a goal but it didn't turn out and suddenly you think to yourself the the external and it's funny it's funny because it's like you make these plans and these plans come from your heart's desires internally and then from your internal aspects you then set an expectation those expectations are then translated out into this physical realm into this physical world and so when those plans in the time did not meet the expectation that you set up inwardly you now think that either when you're a failure either when you're never going to find the love of your life your life is a mess suddenly it's, your brain jumps to this drastic um analogies these, these drastic drastic assumptions of now that is who you are because that expectation is no longer met and because that expectation is no longer met it's like why try why do that so when life doesn't go the way you planned it you're like why plan why look for why continue dating if i've like if you got in rejected multiple times why continue looking for a job why because it's like no one wants to hire you, or because no one loves you 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 see that it's like a mirror bounce back but at the end of the day if you realize it if you look at it it all came inwardly translated physically outwardly it did not meet your expectations mindful this your expectations if you just focus on your expectation narrowly there's more to you there is more to you in which your creator controls you cannot control but you set this narrowly expect you might not see it narrowly you might not see it like that but let's say like this you put these expectations these expectations that were not met so then they get bounced back onto you and then you start to think Hmm. And and what what's left after you have planned it after life has not been the way you want it to what is left is this desire is this hopelessness but at the same time this hopefulness this passion this wanting this need a need that was not met when your expectations were not met what you have to then do is reprogram your mind change your mindset have a shift if it's an ever so slightly shift just in the same way when you want to open a door and, 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 and all it takes and it's creaked open, but it's it's not shut. The door is not shut, but the door is creaked. And all you have to do and all you have to do is just one slight shift, one slight movement. And suddenly that door becomes much opener and suddenly there is hope. But what do you do with those feelings of, of hopelessness? What do you do when you so badly wanted that person to be your person they were? Or when you so badly wanted that job, but it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to? You have to understand that at one point, like 
if it's not meant for you, then it was not meant for you. I think what ends up happening with this phrase is that it's like, where I could have been better and I could have done this and I could... Yes, yes. But being in that state gets you nowhere. Just in the same way if you're a student and you fail a test, you failed the test. Could you have done better? Yes, absolutely. Can you take it again? And there's two ways. You either take it again or you keep going. You can't take it again. You can't retrace back time. You can't narrow, you can't time travel back to do it again. You can't do that if you can take the test again. And this is just the form analogy of taking a test, right? This could be like even with a job or whatever, but it's like the, the form of just saying, can you take it again? Can you do it again? Do you have another opportunity to try again of that same thing of what you failed at? Do you have another chance? No? Yes. Yes, I do have another chance. Okay, how can we get better at this? What is one way I can approach it differently than what I approached it last time? What did I didn't do last time? What did I do that maybe that didn't result in contribution to this such thing? But no, I cannot take it again. No, you cannot go back with it. No, you cannot get back into the school, right? No, you cannot. You don't have a second chance to what you planned, to the opportunity that was presented. How, wh whatever, however the opportunity fleed away, no, you don't have another chance. Okay, that is when life did not go the way you planned it. Yeah, yes. Okay, what can you do next? The only thing you can do next is move forward. And it can be easier said than done. Will this matter in 10 minutes? Yes. Will you be devastated? Yes. Will this matter in 10 days? You'll probably feel a little bit down, yeah? If he rejected you? Yeah, you'll probably feel... Will this matter in 10 years? No. No, it will not. But what ends up happening is that such events, when we put so important, such importance to an event, we, we believe that it is now a turning point for our lives. We believe we'll, you will never get hired. You will never be able to achieve your goals. And you suddenly start to compile this evidence, this evidence of which I've discussed in other videos. And it's like, you compile the evidence, but in the same way that you compile, you compile the evidence, it's in the same way you compile the evidence that you can move forward, that you can do this. That when life takes a turn, what are the options that lie in front of you? And, and, and when it came, let's say from a personal experience, rather I wanted someone to be in my life and maybe they just weren't supposed to be in my life. This was, this is, this is what I thought. This is how you should think. You do more damage than good when you continue to chase the things, that thing of that which is not supposed to and it's not meant to stay in your life. So like, this could be a person, this could be a thing. You do more damage than good when you chase after that thing, that thing of that which is not meant to be in your life. You do more damage than good. And at the same time, when realizing this, many of you, you become in disbelief. You're like, nah, I'm gonna keep going. Or it's like, I'm gonna, chase after him i'm gonna continue there's two different points here and one chasing your goals and your dreams yes and there's another where the opportunity presented itself now it's fleeting or there's another point where the person that you wanted was not meant for you he's not meant for you she's not meant for you so then it's those two aspects i'm not talking about the aspects like your goals and your dreams and you fail that's different that's like at a failing point but you continue going but let's talk about the point where if it's a person, do you still continue to go after that person? No. Because let me tell you this, there are signs in your life that your creator gives you. A person is not meant to be in your life for a reason. Things, little trinkets of, of little events that happen that if you don't catch on, probably you'll be falling into a trap. But if you tend to catch on, if you're self-aware, then you'll realize this right now, whatever I'm chasing, whatever you desire in life, whoever you decide to choose, most likely, maybe it was not just at its time maybe it was not the right time because if it's one thing that you have to learn and and, and and it's that one thing that you will learn and i hope you learn at one point in your life that timing is everything timing is everything whether you are ready to take on that career whether you are not ready to take on the career there are reciprocations on both ends whether you meet the person the love of your life and they're not ready the timing creates the alignment when things work but when things don't work out it's this misalignment of, of when plans don't go the way you want it to go then you're thinking that your life flatlined it did not flatline it just means that you're right here and the thing that you so wanted did not align right now to what was good for you. What was meant for you at that time. Sometimes you refuse 
You refuse to let go. You refuse to accept what has happened, what has occurred. You refuse and you continue to chase until you either hurt yourself. Another one, he hurts you or she hurts you. And that's where the damage comes in. And the damage that comes in is that when you did not, when you do not render what was not meant for you at that correct timing, when you do not render it up, you lose yourself. It's this, this, it's this small trap that you think it's not there, but it's a trap that, that it's so well there. When you decide to chase after the things that maybe at that timing was not meant for you, when you decide to chase him, at that time he's just not meant for you or he's just not the one the symptoms of that will be anxiousness frustration social anxiety depression such symptoms such negative symptoms that come about from the fall of humans that come from the brokenness of humans but when things are aligned things should effortly effortlessly come into your life right the pieces will fall and you won't have to go to this great extent to get what you so desired but if you do go to that extent i believe that you will arrive there with much exhaustion and i believe you will arrive there with more sorrow than you probably didn't even anticipate and so the result of this is coming to terms life does not go as planned that instead of looking at yourself like a failure or instead of looking at yourself as not loved or instead of looking at yourself as if you are not worth it look at yourself as you are worth you are precious you are more and greater than that this such experience that happened in your life does not define you and this such experience does not define your entire life. So how do we compile the evidence? What do we do? Well, you look at what you do have and you look at the things and where you have overcome by God's greater goodness, right? In that sense, there's that confronting of the fear. People don't discuss that like when life does not go the way you want it to, people don't confront. There is this fear that you had. You lost something. And in that losing something, there's an emotion connected to that. And from that emotion, you your thoughts are then perceived and from your thoughts, you're then your thoughts take action. And so then you you try to chase this such, such thing as we discussed before, but if we confront the the fear because there is a fear you will realize that the fear that was in your mind you will realize that the fear that you had for the thing that you lost wasn't as great as you thought it would be in the way that it would tumble you down that if you just passed by the fear instead of avoiding it because suddenly that that fear or, or even looking at it like a, this monster suddenly is not so as big but because you confronted it and you decided to pass through it you will suddenly realize that at the right time things will fall into place in the way they should fall into place and at the right time the person that you wanted in your life to stay the per your person or that that goal and that career or whatever little accomplishment that you so put your heart at that right time pieces will fall into place you just have to have faith that there will be but let me tell you this there's this greater goodness that if you have faith and you seek out the one who created you, I'm sure that you will find every goodness comes from above. So this much we know that there is this plan, not your plans. <laughs> it's not always going to be what you plan. And, and probably it is, probably it is. And even when plans do go the way you want them to go, you can also see that maybe there was another better option to go about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and just know that life does take a turn in life. There's some mismatches that occur in your life, but it's how you choose to react to those circumstances, how you choose when things don't go the way you planned it to. There's more significance in that because that is one thing you can control. Your reactions to when life is being thrown at you or when, when something that you so desired was just not meant to stay in your life, just know that there are better things that will stay and will come and stay in your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Double dare and good and bye.